Hello everybody, my name's Mel, welcome to my YouTube. I'm a crafter, I'm also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia and I'm on the central coast of New South Wales. I haven't done a video in months and months and months and I'm so so sorry, I truly am. I moved, as you can see, look at the shadows on the video, the lighting in this new house is crap. Basically, couldn't be more honest with you. <laughs> it's just not good lighting. So I haven't done any videos for that reason. But today, oh look, I can make shadow puppets if I want. <laughs> okay, anyway, silly Melinda. Um, I want to show you guys with a beautiful stamp set, a beautiful image, you guys can create a darling, darling background for your own cards, your own designer series paper. Woohoo! Like, woohoo! It's awesome! Today I'm going to use Painted Seasons. This beautiful stamp set is a free celebration item. Celebration is coming to a close. We're a few days out from ending. This will be gone. You don't want to miss this. Like, hate to be bossy about it, but <laughs> you don't want to miss this. You want this stamp set. It also comes with some DSP pre-made DSP, but we're going to make our own. Today, I'm using this stamp, this image, this image, and this image. Let's get cracking. I am using um, colours of Blackberry Bliss, Mint Macaroon, and Old Olive. Okay, and what I did do before I got started, because these are distinctive stamp sets, you want a really good image with them. So you don't want your ink pad to be too juicy. You don't want it wet. You're going to ink it up and you're going to get ink where ink shouldn't go. Just like my hands. <laughs> ink where ink shouldn't go. Um, and when you stamp it, the image you get is going to be a blob. Boo. Like that's just not going to look good. So what I do, if my ink pad is a little bit too juicy, I open it up. I take a little little old card or something and I just push the ink back in or I scrape it off. You could also do this with the back of a spoon or a bone folder. Okay, let's get stamping. Now that I think my ink pads are, are dry enough, let's stamp some images and hope this goes well because <laughs> I'm on video in the one I did this the other day. Oh, you'll have to forgive the bang 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 of the stamp in. I'm on a wooden table. Um, the one I did the other day, I cross-contaminated my ink. You guys don't want to do that. So I ended up having a grey looking flower, but I saved it. I just stamped another image, fussy cut it out, put it on top and it was saved. All right, let's make some background images. So I've got Blackberry Bliss here. Oh God, it's to die for. <laughs> it's to die for. I absolutely love, I'm just cleaning, I clean with a chamois, I'm just doing that roughly in between stamping, just so I don't cross contaminate like I did last time. This is Old Olive, Bam, Mint Macaroon, tap, 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 and what I did share on my, um, On my blog and my Facebook page, I had mentioned when you're inking up the distinctive stamps, don't push. I know a lot of people like to go uh, into the ink pad and squish and, and do all of that nasty thing. Don't do it. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. I posted a, a meme of a meme. My son laughs at me when I say that. A meme, not a meme. <laughs> of Happy Gilmore when he's um, getting coached and he's just tap it in, tap, tap, tap a -roo. I love that movie. Oh, one of my favourites. And that's what this reminds me of. You don't want to over ink your ink, okay? Uh, put that one there. Sorry, I'm trying to work out placement and clean these steps so I'm not cross-contaminating anything as I go along. The old olive, the leaf, that's fine because we're just, we're using him constantly. 
and I've not stamped that well. I could tell that as soon as I put that down, I thought, oh, you've buggered that one, Melinda. Okay. Blackberry Bliss, tap, tap, tap So funny. Oh, I love that movie. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap a So this is all I'm doing. I'm just, let me get another cleaner. Hopefully there's not too much shadow. I really hope there's not because this is the first time I've, um, I've, I've lost my train of thought. I'm concentrating so much on this. I'm so sorry. It's the first time I've, Filmed in my new house. That's what I wanted to say. First time filming in this house. So just, I do it this way. Like I could go and just go, okay, Blackberry Bliss, we'll put him here. I don't work like that. <laughs> I do um, bit by bit. That's just how I work. The way I am. Don't cross-contaminate, Melinda. I almost stuck, I almost stuck that into mint macaroon. <laughs> Okay, knit macaroons back. Uh, let's put, let's do him. We'll do the big one in knit macaroon up there. I'm not sure how I'm going with this actually. I might have to speed some stuff up. because I might be taking forever. Who knows? Blackberry Bliss again. These colours are gorgeous together. Oh, my word. And they just brought back Mint Macaroon. Last year they brought Mint Macaroon back with Blackberry Bliss. They were previous in colours. So grateful they came back. They're beautiful colours. And look at them together. Are you guys seeing that glory? <laughs> Let me bring it up. Oh, God. It just makes my heart so happy. I love, 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 love. <laughs> Sounded like the count then. Love, love, love. I love these colours. Divine. Okay. Stop talking, Melinda. Have a chat. Uh, we'll go another knit macaroon over whacking there. Clean it off because I want to get my rich raspberry. with the leaves there I'm not sure how this is coming along who knows uh, <laughs> there that will do <laughs> um, and we'll go a we'll go a mid macaroon over here a, let's do a mint macaroon over here. I'll try to get this stamping done a bit quicker for you guys. Uh, Blackberry Bliss right there. Clean that off because she's the one that's going to stain. I think that's what I cross contaminated last time. It didn't clean off the Blackberry Bliss properly, and then I've put it into my mint macaroon. And yeah, see? Still got a little stain. And then I got a grey. I love grey. But not when it's on this. <laughs> ruining this. That could go up there. Oh, you doofus. 
I was talking to you about not cross-contaminating. Well, hmm, I had to do it, didn't I? But at least it wasn't the blackberry bliss. I've gone from my old olive into my mint macaroon. Yes. So now I'm going to have a leaf on this that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> it's a slight difference, so I'm okay. Phew. Okay, leaf, old olive only, Melinda. <laughs> it's such a me thing to do. Always just, yeah, can't help but bugger something up. Okay, let's make sure that's clean. Don't want to cross-contaminate again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so you see we're getting this stamped beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Let's do a blackberry bliss of that. Come in with our leaves. I'm not sure if I'm liking the way I'm... Oh, almost put that in blackberry bliss. <laughs> oh, help! Send me to bed. <laughs> put me to sleep. Oh, dear. Okay. Where can we go now? I reckon we need a, a big... One of these big ones in a mint mac. Tap, tap, taparoo. And I reckon we clean it off and do our... Oh, let's chuck a big rich raspberry. And not rich raspberry, blackberry bliss. Pardon me. And put some leaves in again. And we're almost done. And then we'll be up to... Um, cutting it shortly so that will be that will be great okay so we're done with the old olive and the leaves let's put that away before I stick anything in that that shouldn't be in it <laughs> uh, can always count on Melinda to fumble something okay all of this blackberry bliss off Whack it in the mint macaroon again. God, I love these colours. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we can put that stamp away. Now what we're going to do is just come in with a filler and we're just going to... Let's do mint macaroon first. And we'll get all of the mint macaroon fillers done. Just randomly, wherever you want them. As much as you want, as little as you want, whatever. Craft is about you. It's about what you want, what you want to put out there, what you want to play with. Like, this is a personal hobby. So if you have a mentality of, oh, my stuff isn't any good, Shut it down. Shut it down. Don't let yourself speak like that. This is a hobby. It's meant to be fun. It's our creativity. You know what I mean? Like, I think that we can all think very much alike, especially when we're using the same products. But just be you. Be you. Don't try to be anybody else. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. Create what you want to create. Forget the haters. Forget the naysayers. And just do you. Have fun. Creativity is fun. It's how I express myself. It's how I deal with stress. It's how I deal with trauma. It's food for my soul honestly I can't be more honest with you creating is food for my soul don't know where I'd be without it okay that should do now we can chop 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 all right 
cutting time. That only took 15 minutes to stamp. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's bring in our trimmer. And we are going to cut... We're going to cut... So we're going to have a full piece for our cards. So we're going to cut at... Five and seven eighths. Sorry, I'm just counting. Okay, so just let me think, was it that way? <laughs> Try to, am I cutting the right way? Okay, bam, cut. All right, so you've got this piece. And then we're going to turn it this way. And we're going to cut this at four and one eighths of an inch because this is going to be our front piece, our full piece for our front, is four and one eighth. And yes, I'm an Australian that works in inches. I'm so sorry. It's the way that I learned. Um, if you get any frayed bits like this, I go along later and I get my paper snips and I trim them because I can't stand the furryness of them. Okay, and then we have this piece left over. We're going to cut this at two and one eighths. Okay, two and one eighth. Oops, I just moved it. Okay, so bam, two and one eighth. That's another piece. This piece, we're going to cut this just in half. It should be two inches. So we're just going to cut it two one inch strips, okay? So, bam, two one inch strips. Oh, one came a little bit. I didn't line that up properly. So one's a little bit smaller. Okay, so you've got, out of that first cut, we've got a full card front piece. We've got this strip. We've got two one inch pieces, okay? So there, you've got four cards already there, or three if you want to um, use the two one inch strips on one card like I did. I'll show you my cards at the end. Okay, so for this second half of a piece, we are going to cut. So I'm just trying to think. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Three and eight. this way okay so we're going to cut this piece at three and one eighths of an inch it was this way wasn't it yeah it should be this way three and one eighths of an inch I'm so sorry how unprofessional does that look I feel like I've got this wrong I'm going to pause this for a second while I think. Okay, I've worked it out. So sorry. How unprofessional. Three and one eighth. Okay. Bam, three and an eighth. And then we're going to cut this. Do it this way at three and eighth again. So we've just got a three and eighth by a three and one eighth of an inch square. There's another layer for your cards. Here we're going to cut this the same, I believe it was, sorry, so sorry you guys, I think it was three and an eighth, yeah, okay, we're cutting this next piece at three and an eighth again, bam, you've got this piece left over, that's another piece, and then this piece, you can leave it by a three and one eighth of an inch by a three and one eighth of an inch. So it's the same as this. Or cut it into fours. Sorry. That should be cut at one and nine sixteenths of an inch. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is about the four centimetre, four centimetre mark. Bam. Or again, you could use these two. You don't have to cut them into the four cubes. So you could use them as panels or we can pop it back in and go bam. And you get, and if you did, I'm not going to do it now, but if you cut that one, you're going to get your four little squares. Okay, so that's another piece. And this is the last piece which we are going to cut directly in half. <laughs> so that would measure two and it's about two and three quarters. We're going to cut this directly in half, four and one eighth of an inch. Four, one eighth, bam. You've got these two pieces. All right. I hope you followed that okay. It wasn't too sloppy and messy. I'm so sorry. Let me show you the cards that I made, okay? This little piece, which was cut after the ones that we did into four, this little piece is what I used for this little note card. As you can see, hangs over a bit. So I just trimmed that off, no worries. So that's done with one piece. It's got some silver foil behind it. So that was with that piece. Uh, the strips, the one inch strips I did here on the bride and groom card, put them up there. If you can see, can we see? I don't think we can, but we might be able to see. Yeah, I don't know. I've die cut these words out in silver foil. I've used our adhesive sheets to do this with, and I've cut them out four or five times and I've layered them. I've sacked them onto each other, so you can't see. If you head to my blog, um, that's the inside, head to my blog. I think I've got a picture where you can see the depth of them. They're really nice. Uh, okay, so another strip, the strip that's just, let me grab him, this strip. Okay, I've just ran him down here. I've used the decorative ribbon border punch for here, but I haven't used it its normal way. I've flipped it, and these are actually the other end of them, so that's a little something different. The four that we cut into little four squares, that's this one. Uh, the full piece, look at that. Oh, heaven! Oh, I could kiss this card. <laughs> I know, too much information. That's another one, a little reti retirement card. But I really could. I, I could sleep with this paper. And, like sleep, like nighttime sleep. Put it under my pillow. Not the other way. <laughs> little sympathy card. And that is the card where I cross-contaminated and I had the grey-looking flower. So, yeah, I just fussy cut him, stuck him back over. And I made this cute little craft box. Ah, oh, look at the polka dot ribbon. I hope it picks it up. And then I've got a little faceted gem in the middle of it. Gosh, that's pretty. So I got seven cards and a little gifting box out of one sheet of A4 cardstock. So think about that, you guys. Make your own designer series paper. It's amazing. The, you can have it any colour that you want to, any image that you want to. Like, could it get any better? <laughs> okay, that's it. I hope this video... Oh, look at my fingers. Hello. Blackberry Bliss. Time for a shower for me. I hope you guys have a really good day. Thank you so much for being here today and thank you for watching. Take care. Happy day to you. Bye.